Welcome to the Philadelphia 2021 Global Water Dance here in Penn Treaty Park. My name is Lauren Gronendahl and I'm the Artistic Director of Vervet Dance and the Philadelphia 2021 Global Water Dance and the choreographer for the local dance. Thank you for coming and for following our COVID operating plan to keep you and others safe. The show runs about 40 minutes and is comprised of four sections. Please know the majority of the dance will happen right here in this dewdrop shaped wedge of grass for easy viewing for you. After our initial announcements, we will shift into an opening ritual, which will be a time for all of us to arrive to this place of time for this event. Second, after the opening meditative practice, there will be a local dance, which I choreographed that highlights the beautiful abundance of water in the Delaware River Valley, which is often a lucky and joyous bounty with the abundant rainfall and tidal rivers. However, with global climate change and sea level rise, compounded with rainwater runoff and overwhelming sewage systems, this region is experiencing flooding and pollution. With human intervention, these problems can be mitigated. This local dance has new original music by Andy Vera, right here. A cast of local dancers. that the land on which we dance, live, and gather water are the ancestral lands of the indigenous people of the Lenape. Penn Treaty Park is the historic site of the Penn Shakamaxon Treaty in which the Lenape agreed to share part of this land with William Penn and other white colonialists. We are grateful for access to this land and water and hope that the agreement between William Penn and Tom Anand and the associated Quakers in Lenape was as peaceful as it is often described. We condemn the violence of colonialism, which forced indigenous people from their homeland and destroyed their way of life, health, and well being. We are grateful to the city of Philadelphia and the friends of Penn Treaty Park for their continued stewardship of this land and their permission to be here today. We also give a special thanks to the Penn Treaty Special Services District for their financial support of this program. In addition to acknowledging the history of this land, we take action to repair violence to people, land, and water. The dance event itself is a call to appreciate and care for water. We put on this event as sustainably as possible. We minimize the carbon footprint by reducing the use of electricity, by rehearsing and performing outside in tempered hours just before sunset. The only new and disposable objects aside from postcards that were purchased for this event were needed for COVID-19 transmission prevention. All of the costuming comes from the wardrobes of the performers or was purchased at a thrift store for an earlier dance project. Many objects like the chairs and water coolers were borrowed from friends and other organizations banked in the long digital program. Finally, dancing in relation to water helps us empathize with nature and feel more inspired to give it care. By putting our full selves, bodies and minds in relation to this water, we understand it and care for it better. With this in mind, we ask you to join us in an arriving, grounding, and embodying meditative practice. 
continue to arrive to this place of time. Tune into your senses, sight, sound, touch, maybe even smell. Probably not taste, but maybe. Notice the land and waterscapes. Notice the plants, people, and any other animals. Look up to the sky to see where our precipitation comes from and sense the lightness. Look down to see the stable earth and a feeling of support. Take a moment to remember the complex history that allows you to be in this place now and the people that came before you who thrived or suffered to make that possible. Look out to see the Delaware River and its continual movement and remember the power of movement to create change. Move your head around to direct your eyes and ears in different directions to experience our multi-dimensional world. Now, let's let our eyes rest. Please close your eyes so you can better tune into other senses. Listen, you can hear the sound of my voice. What else do you hear in this time and place? Feel. You are falling into the earth and into the unknowns of the future. Please be open-minded with this experience and today's performance. Feel the earth and other structures supporting you. Remember that you are held. Exhale carbon dioxide. Breathe in nourishment. Breathe out what is not needed. Use your breath to arrive in this moment in your body in this place. Slow breaths with exhales longer than inhales also help create calm. Feel how you are part of the restoration of this planet. You are part of this ecosystem. What you do has an impact on your environment. When you are ready, gently open your eyes. As you open your eyes, the local dance has already begun. Please remain quiet and in your spot. The dancers will flow back to the performance area shortly for optimal viewing. We will speak again at the end of the show. Please look.
water dances. Now you're invited to join us in the participatory dance. Water makes a cycle. Water evaporates up from the earth to the sky and precipitation, rain, other kinds falls back down to the earth. When it gets here, we interact with it, we can drink it, we can wash our face and let it go. Waves go out to the ocean and the water is connected all around the world. So try this dance with me, it's pretty simple. Clouds go up, rain falls down, splash your face, wave goes up. So it's four counts for each line, so it's clouds go up, three, four, rain comes down, three, four, splash your face, wave goes up, three, four. Yeah, you got it. So we'll put the music back on. You can dance with us when you're ready, Andy. <laughs> Hopefully you saw how overwhelming water can be in our region in this dance performance. In many sections of Philadelphia, the sewer system is very old and not designed to manage the volume of wastewater and stormwater runoff we currently generate. Unfortunately, this means that when it rains enough to overwhelm our sewer system, the excess is released directly into the creeks and rivers untreated sewage and all. Climate change is likely to make this problem even worse by increasing the amount of rainfall during storms. While the city is trying to address this issue, 
it will take all of us pitching in to help. We encourage you to consider how you can help prevent rainwater from reaching the sewer by catching the rain that runs off your roof in a rain barrel, in a rain barrel, or on a soft surface like a garden that can absorb the water. Hard surfaces like pavement cause runoff. The more soft and absorbent surfaces and structures, the better. In this way, Philadelphia can handle the abundance and protect the waterways. Your individual actions can add up to make a significant positive impact. We also want you to know that a portion of the proceeds from ticket sales will be donated to the Lenape Nation of Pennsylvania in honor of the stewardship to the land and water of the Delaware River Valley that the Lenape provided for so long and the education and support the Lenape Nation provides for the future. We are also donating to the Schuylkill Center for Environmental Education, who care for the Schuylkill River and its surrounding ecosystem, as well as educating people how to do so themselves. The last part of the pro ticket proceeds will be used by Verbet Dance to compensate the artistic collaborators and prepare for another inspiring performance. If you'd like to stay informed about our projects, please sign up at the mailing list at the welcome desk or send me an email if you need me. <laughs> if you are inspired and able, you might like to make your own donations to these organizations to support the work that we do. Links for these organizations are listed in your long digital program and at the welcome desk. We also encourage you to take action to work to minimize your carbon footprint by minimizing the use of fossil fuels. Yet, individual lifestyle changes alone will not reverse global climate change. Only local, state, and federal policy and more globally united actions can achieve this. A splash is great. Many splashes that create a wave is even better. That's the movement necessary to make significant change quickly enough to address this problem. So we also encourage you to get involved with a localized environmental action group like Philly Thrive, of which I am a member. We also recommend Sunrise Movement and Earthquaker Action Team. You can learn more about them in your digital program or again, the Welcome Desk. Um, if you have questions about how to be a better environmental steward yourself, please talk to any of us before you leave. If you look in our program, at the end of each artist's bio, they share something environmental that they're passionate about. And maybe that's something you want to know more about. So I encourage you to talk to them. Uh, at this time, please join me in congratulating all of our performers, the local dancers. Here's my good Catherine Curry. The global dancers. Jenny, Kenya, Shelly. Issa, Jonathan, Jenna, and Lindsay. Our composer, Andy Sarah. And best for second to last, our youth performers. And I am the artistic director, Lauren Grunendahl. Thank you so much. Oh, I'll bow to you. Thank you so much for being here. Please take your time leaving with people on the edges leaving first so we can be distant as we go. And thank you so much for attending. I hope you keep a little flowy dance within you always and that you take your splashes and turn them into big, positive, impactful waves. This is my mom who's giving me flowers. <laughs>